you're welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to be looking at the objectives of the auditor the auditor has two objectives yeah. so the first objective is to obtain reasonable assurance about whether financial statements as a whole are free from material misstatements whether due to fraud or error because misstatements can be like due to error or fraud error it's when some someone never intended to do it then fraud someone intends to do it yeah so whether financial statements are free from material misstatements either due to fraud or error thereby enabling the auditor to express an opinion on whether they are prepared in all material aspects in accordance with the applicable financial reporting framework that's the first objective, to obtain reasonable assurance about whether financial statements as a whole are free from material misstatements, either due to fraud or error. Then uh, the next one, the next object, the second objective is to report on financial statements and communicate as required by the ISS, International Standards on Auditing, in accordance with the auditor's findings. So after, after the auditor obtaining reasonable assurance, the auditor has to give what we call the audit report. So he has to report on those financial statements and communicate as it is required according to the ISS. Sorry about that. Yes, so those are the two objectives of the auditor. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Let's catch up in my next video.